political essay designed for year nine students writing on 1984. Today you will learn how to write an analytical essay using evidence from George Orwell's 1984. By the end of this session, you should be able to unpack an essay topic, write yourself a plan, construct an introduction, improve your body paragraphs to write with two examples per paragraph, and write a conclusion. If you ever get stuck, please write down the name of the slide and check in with me one on one. Your teacher will provide you with two topics in the examination. You should carefully consider each topic and unpack them both before you decide which one you will do. The first tip is to highlight the keywords in the question and then to ask yourself questions about the topic to get you thinking. For instance, let's look at the topic provided today. If you want a picture of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face forever. How does Big Brother and the inner party ensure they can never be defeated? Discuss. Now it can seem overwhelming with the quote, but the quote's just there to give you a hint for one of your paragraphs. Immediately I go, violence. But I have to unpack the topic first. With my highlighter, I've highlighted the keywords. Ensure they are never defeated. So initially I asked myself the question, who is or is not defeated in the text? Winston, O'Brien, Julia, the Proles, Big Brother. And from there I go, how does the party manage to maintain control or defeat these people? Well, by looking at that quote, the use of torture is pretty important in the text. And when I think of Julia, I think of the removal of love and intimacy. But how do they get control of everyone? Education, manipulation? From there, I can come up with three distinct paragraphs, use of torture, removal of love and intimacy, and education and manipulation as the way that Big Brother and the party ensure they can never be defeated. Before I begin writing, I need to turn this into a plan. Your plan should have your topic sentence with no character names, and then your examples. Unlike your in-class practices, you should try to include two examples if possible. For paragraph one, I'm going to write, through indoctrination and manipulation, the party prevents rebellion and by extension, the possibility of defeat. I'm gonna talk about Newspeak and how they limit discussion and free speech to get control of people but also their use of hate-filled propaganda. I'm also going to talk about in paragraph two, that by removing and restricting the passions of family and intimacy, the party can limit emotion and therefore the desire for an uprising. Uprising, sorry. So I'm going to talk about the removal of children from their families and Winston's relationship with his own family. I'm also going to talk about the relationship between Winston and Julia, specifically when he betrays her, showing that love and loyalty do not last. In my third paragraph, I'm going to talk about torture. Those who try to defy the party are tortured, re-educated or vaporised, showing the party can never be defeated. I'm going to talk about the spies. The fact that people are out there looking for rebels such as Mr. Charrington and O'Brien making rebellion too dangerous. But also I'm going to talk about Winston's final torture and defeat in room 101. What I want you to notice from my plan is that each paragraph is different. I'm talking about manipulation, loss of family and then torture. You need to make sure all three of your paragraphs are distinctly different and each of them answer a different part of the question. What are the different ways that the party makes sure they cannot be overridden? To begin your essay, you will need to write an introduction. Your introduction should include the title, the name of the author, and a one sentence plot summary. You should then have your contention for the essay, making sure you use the words from the essay question, and then that you preview your three points. For example, 
The dystopian novel 1984 by Englishman George Orwell portrays the struggle of party member Winston Smith as he navigates the impress the oppressive and corrupt world of Oceania under the control of totalitarian leader Big Brother. So that's my title, my author, and my plot sentence. Then my contention. Throughout the novel, Orwell conveys there are many methods adopted by the dictator and his inner party to remain undefeated. That's essentially the essay topic. Then I need my three ideas. You don't want to include any character names here. Just the ideas, no examples either. Firstly, the use of indoctrination and propaganda to manipulate the masses. Moreover, the removal of the party and intimacy dilutes reason and passion for defiance. Finally, the use of torture to punish those who consider rebellion is used as a last resort. Thus, all these methods work together to ensure the government can never be overthrown. There. I've given you my three paragraphs in summary. To write your body paragraphs, you need to have three body paragraphs that use the teal structure. You must have your topic sentence, followed by your example with quotes, then your explanation in your own words of how this relates to the essay topic, followed by your linking sentence. To extend yourself, you should be trying to include a second example and a second explanation at this level. Let's have a look at this on the next slide. Topic sentence. Big Brother and his inner party use manipulation, propaganda, and the distorted education as a means to ensure their disciples do not have the power to defeat them. So I haven't mentioned any characters. Next, I'm going to give example one. By slowly removing the ability to think freely, the people of Oceania are essentially at the mercy of the party. Syme explains that Newspeak is the only language in the world that gets smaller each year and that the aim was to narrow the range of thought in order to make thought crime literally impossible. Explanation one. By limiting the vocabulary of the party members, the masses are unable to consider freedom rebellion or dissent, therefore making the concept of an uprising unlikely if not impossible. Example two. This is further exemplified by the unchecked ability of the party to rewrite history, such as who the enemy is in the continuous war between Oceania and either Eurasia or East Asia. Winston describes the changing of books, documents and newspapers by acknowledging that the past had not merely been altered, it had been destroyed. This ensured that the citizens like Winston could not question the government as no proof of their lies and deception existed outside of their own memory. This level of systematic corruption and falsity of truth ensures that Big Brother and the inner party can never be challenged based on fact. Then I'm going to link it back to the question. Therefore, Orwell constructs a seemingly indestructible totalitarian regime using tools such as manipulation and limited education. You can see by the colour coding here, we have a topic sentence, example one, explanation one, example two, explanation two, link. And you'll follow this formula throughout your other body paragraphs. You should be changing your sentence starters to make each paragraph sound different. And you want to make sure that every topic sentence is very different from the previous one. For example, this paragraph is going to be about removing love, family and intimacy. Further to this in 1984, sorry, further to this, 1984 delineates that the removal of love, intimacy and family restricts the desire for rebellion. It is the objective of the party to cut the ties between the parent and the child, and by doing so, removes the innate desire to protect one's own. Winston reflects the love of his own mother, belonged to an ancient time, and could not happen today, where in the place of family, the family bond is only fear, hatred, and pain. Without a cause to fight for, the party is unable to, sorry, the party is able to create a population devoid of feeling and by extension, extinguish a primary motive for rebellion. 
In addition, when bonds are formed, the party ensures that these are destroyed and ultimately break these connections to limit the ability of the party members to unite against the superstate. Example two. This is evidence when, despite the fact Winston loved Julia and he said he would never betray her under the pressure of O'Brien in Room 101, he breaks down and reneges on his loyalty to his lover, saying, do it to Julia, and I don't care what you do to her. Winston even goes as far to desperately cry to O'Brien to tear her face off in his place. This proves that any bond can be broken by the party that the most intimate bond of lovers who have faced adversity together can ultimately be altered by the force of the state. By removing their familial and devoted allies, the party negates the strength of the citizens, forcing them into further isolation. Link. It is through this quarantine from loving bonds that the party ensures their brutality and unquestioned corruption can continue. Body paragraph three. Again, I want to alter my sentence starters to sound a little bit different. And I want to make clear that this paragraph is about torture and fear. So I'll have two more examples for you to look at. The ultimate weapon of the party is to maintain, to maintain devotion is the use of violence, torture and fear to either prevent or re-educate those who do not support the teachings of Big Brother. One method which the party used to identify and capture the rebels is the thought police. Even Winston and Julia, who feel they have found a safe haven to read from Goldstein's book, are betrayed by Mr. Charrington. They are told by the iron voice from the secret telescreen that they are the dead and may as well go and say goodbye, as they have now been discovered as traitors of the party. It is this continual fear of being captured and subsequently tortured that may prevent an uprising in Oceania. This is further accentuated by the final torture and ultimate regression of the protagonist Winston after his time in the Ministry of Love. O'Brien not only tortures Winston to break his bond with Julia, but also break his spirit. O'Brien describes power as the ability to tear human minds to pieces and that he and the party would put them back together in new shapes of their choosing. It is clear Winston is unable to return to his progressive thought crimes and rebellion after his torture, as he can unconsciously traces 2 plus 2 equals 5 on the table and openly admits he loved Big Brother. It is this ability to break people through violence that allows the inner party to keep control of even the most courageous provocateurs. Link, as such, Orwell conveys that the dystopian world cannot be breached by citizens as they face capture, pain and torture if they uprise. Then I need to write a conclusion. Your conclusion should just restate your contention, restate your three ideas and use slightly different wording to your introduction. For example, in the conclusion, sorry, in conclusion, George Orwell, in his novel 1984, demonstrates that the party uses a range of methods to ensure total control. This is highlighted through the brainwashing and indoctrination of the people of Oceania, the vanquishment of family, love and adoration as a desire to fight for freedom. And lastly, the use of violence against those who defy the party. As such, the oppressive status quo remains. So what are my final messages? This is really the same as what we've been doing in class, except you can now use two examples and two explanations to further yourself. You should try to have between six to eight short embedded quotes in each paragraph, remembering that one word quotes are completely okay. You should always remember to come back to the keywords in the essay question to avoid going off topic. And lastly, as you practice, if you get stuck, please ask for help and ask for feedback as we are all learning today. 